Yo, there are a lot of Nike kicks dropping this week and they are not playing around when it comes to the heat. Let's start the show. <laughs> Welcome to the Heat Check, I'm your host Jacques Slade, and this week starts with a big release from LeBron in Nike Basketball in the Four Horsemen colorway. Of all of the GR colorways of LeBron 15, this one definitely stands out. You can grab those over at Finish Line for $185 starting on Thursday. Bonus point for anyone who can let me know down in the comments why that shoe is called the Four Horsemen. Let me know. Okay, moving on, let's keep the LeBron love flowing with the LeBron Soldier 12 SFG in the Zero Dark 30 colorway. The Soldier is a takedown version of the LeBron signature shoe, and you can grab those for $130 on Thursday as as well in that black upper. Switching over to Nike Sportswear, it looks like the Air Max 95 is getting a few special editions for the ladies and you can grab those in that light pumice or a black colorway. Those will cost you 170. One of the hottest selling shoes of the last couple of months is the Nike Air Max 270. These are dropping in the regular version which will cost you 150 for both men and women or you can grab them in that updated fly knit version. The fly knit version is available in a few colors for men and women as well and those will cost you $170. Now, Nike is definitely showing the women a lot of love when it comes to sneakers, and that is evident with this duo of Air Max 97s. These will arrive in that light pumice or a black colorway, and those will cost you 170 over at finish line. The Nike Epic React Flyknit is a really comfortable shoe. There is really no other way to put it. I've been running in these, and I've been wearing them casually. I personally have two pair right now, and I have another pair actually on the way in the next few days. Those will be dropping in a few colors from both men and women, and you can grab those for 150. This month, we're also going to see React in a totally different silhouette. We've seen it in the Hyperdunk and we've also seen it in the Epic running shoe, but now it looks like the women are getting a special version of the React cushioning in the Nike Odyssey. I've never actually seen this shoe in person, so I'm not sure if it's a performance or a lifestyle shoe, but the ladies will be able to grab a pair for $120 on Thursday. All right, jumping over to Friday, we have a ton of sneakers releasing that I think you guys will definitely be hyped about. First up is the Air Jordan 11 Retro Low in the Rose Gold colorway. This is a grade school or a woman's version of the shoe, and those will cost you 175. Adidas is dropping the Ultra Boost Climber on Friday as well. These are coming in that carbon colorway, and they're one of the standout releases for this weekend, if you ask me. Those will cost you $200. If you are a Nike Vapormax fan, the mock version of that shoe is actually dropping in a couple colorways. You can grab that on sale over at Finish Line for $200. Switching over to Kobe, although technically this is a Paul George shoe, the Mamba Mentality version of the Nike PG2 is releasing for $110, and you can grab those over at Finish Line in that crazy, crazy colorway. Uh, keeping with the Mamba vibes, the Kobe AD360 NXT will be releasing in its first colorway, and those will, of course, cost you $200. I'm actually kind of excited to get a chance to try those out. Over on the retro side, the Nike Kobe 1 Pro Tro is dropping in the Mamba Day colorway as well. Those will cost you $175, and those are in that black and gold upper. And finally, if you want to spend a little more cash on your sneakers, the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0 is releasing in the olive flat colorway. These are actually dropping directly and you can grab those for $720. Now, while the Air Max 270 is one thing, the Air Force 270 is something entirely different. Both use that 32 millimeter air unit in the heel, but the uppers are completely different. An olive version of that shoe is scheduled to release on Saturday, and you can grab those over at Finish Line for 160. Now, if you are a Kyrie Irving fan, the Nike Kyrie 4 in the year of the monkey colorway is also dropping on Saturday. Now, these were created to celebrate his birthday, from what I understand, and you can grab those for 120. The Air Max 98 is getting a lot of love this year, and Nike is dropping a pair in the wolf gray colorway. I've seen these in a ton of colors and I think the Air Max 98 is going to get a lot of love in 2018. Look for those to cost you 160 over at Finish Line. And keeping with the Kobe celebration from Friday, on Saturday we'll actually see the Los Angeles Lakers inspired colorway of the Kobe 1 Pro Tro which has that 8 on the side. Pretty cool that we're actually getting two colorways of the Kobe sneaker in one week. Considering that he's actually retired, I think that's pretty awesome. Those are going to cost you 175 from what I understand, and these are not going to be a GR, so keep your eye open for those if you want them. Finishing up the releases for the week is Jordan Brand with the Air Jordan 1 Shadow. These have been getting a lot of hype over on my Twitter timeline, and for good reason, as they look really, really dope. From what I understand, people that have had early pairs have been really happy with the quality on these as well. Look for those to cost you 160, and you can pick those up over at Finish Line. All right, so that's going to do it for the show today. As always, I just wanted to cover the things that I thought you guys would definitely be interested in. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.